BYU's got it with Carlino on a lead feed for Hawes. Look at the way they find Hawes quickly though. Carlino the leaner. And it's rebounded by a party to BYU. It's one of really weren't sure how many minutes, if any at all, he was going to give Oregon today. Instead, he has been a big bright spot for them early on. He was just saving it up for you, Rob. He's, he knew you is. were going to be here and, and wanted to show out. I appreciate it. <laughs> it's nice to have somebody care when, my, <laughs> when I'm in town. That one will roll back in for Marty. They had a 2-3 zone just now against the Huskies, and they did not adjust. Ended up taking a bailout shot as the clock wound down. Artist still on the floor, Jonathan Lloyd. The senior point guard starting today on the bench, and he has not left it yet. Artist stripped. Wilcox. Rejected. Nice timing by Amarty, the native of Toronto. Two outstanding defensive efforts back to back. There's the pick, and CJ Wilcox is a stud. He's in open court going for the layup. But Amarty, the rejection, great timing to make the block and not commit the foul. Amarty's been very strong off the bench, had 13 points coming off the pine the other night. Also chipped in six rebounds, six of nine from the floor. So the bench was a big story for Oregon, even though they lost at Oregon State on Sunday. And there's a turnover on Washington. Lloyd now on the floor for the Ducks. And here he is with the ball, lays it off to Young. Young still looking for his first points. Finds baseline. That one partially blocked as well. So the offensive woes for Joseph Young continue. And you can tell he had a wide open three. So far tonight, he's out of the game in foul trouble. Anderson, though, and pulled down by Amarty. Player in double figures. He's at 11. And the Cardinal only down two. Scratch that. Make it four. Great execution. Throwing the ball to the high post. And here is Amarty. And he'll get that one to roll in. I'm a fan. I'm a collector. Yes. That needs to be called. Nice move in the lane. Two baskets by Richard Amarty, who's a transition is somewhat being slowed down, and it's become a half-court game. Amarty gets that one to drop. Amarty had started. One of the big bugaboos that they have with their team this season is because of their lack of depth, they don't get a lot of offense from their bench. On the other hand, Oregon has one of the most proficient benches in the country. Night in, night out to play a high caliber schedule to get up mentally and physically ready for their challenge. They're picked to the second three zone. They'll shift it into a 3 2 and they'll try to match up with Oregon's perimeter. But. Artist gives it up. Strip. Amarty has it. Down low. Great vision to find Moser. Great play. Great poise by Amarty. You know, didn't panic, didn't take the panic shot. Finds Moser at the basket. Three point game. Moser, your game's leading scorer with 22. Timeout on the floor. Three-point game. Moser, seven of Marty has come off the, the bench floor. and really given him some life this afternoon. He scored. This is a great play, great savvy play. A lot of guys just would have hoisted, finds the open player, layup, three-point game. I'm not sure why UCLA is trying to play a zone here. Alford rejected. They're going to sit in the lanes. They're not going to allow them to drive. They're going to really guard the ball with all five players. They're going to make them shoot it. So... They're kind of picking their poison. They're going to keep them out of the inside, but Oregon is too good at shooting the basketball. And really, really on the Leo Routens and Steve Nash. Here's Levine, a deep three. Won't go. And Parker in and out. The foul will be on Dwight Powell. And that'll be Powell's fourth foul. Excuse me. There's the twins trying to confuse me again. Well, they got the officials earlier. Legendary basketball names are in this game. Amarty, elbow jumper there. Nelson, ball fake, and he can't finish. The rebound to Oregon and Elgin Cook. Trailing is Lloyd. Better ten points a game. He's too strong for this. The follow no good underneath. Try that time from Count Cara. Dotson the other way. Off the glass high, no good. Strong board underneath the putback is strong as well. Stick a fork in it, please. Adams three around and out. 
Ware tried to slam home the, the rebound. clock that the officials used for the 10 second rule. Has worked well. He was able to get it down low, but great position by Marty to force the base. Goes it to Dotson. No. Dotson gets it back in one extra tip and the flush by Marty. And just getting a piece. Hooker can't put it through. Turnover, contact, but no foul. When you have the ability to score so easily, you start to stand around a little bit. And right now, Oregon needs a little bit more player movement, ball movement. They're, they're going to win the game. Piece of it, because he's well aware trip to Utah and Colorado is going to be a lot different than a lot of the things they've faced in this non-conference. Marty with the bucket. Matchup zone looks like a 1-1-3. One, one, Kemp can't get that one to go. So he starts 0 for 2. And yes, that name should ring a bell. The son of former NBA great here in Seattle, Sean Kemp. Boy, picks up a foul on the penetration. Doing the opposite of what they should be doing. Exactly my point. Trying to go over the top. Childs. Marty there to tap it away. Moser to Lloyd. And Lloyd, who's good with assists, also gets two of his own. Moser with the assist. Top notch program. And this is. They're ranked in the top 12 in the country. Go look at those other programs that are in the 11th spot on up and see what they're preaching. Young has been in double figures every game so far this season for the Ducks. Nice board underneath for Marty to finish. Marty coming off the season, I 15 points, eight rebounds yesterday.